School's not even in session, but it's rivalry week in the PE Center, where the last time these two teams met, Carroll College easily won by double digits. But this year, Montana Tech comes into the capital city led by sophomore standout Liv Wongren out of Plentywood. Let's jump right into game one of Saturday's home doubleheader. Early third quarter, Carroll's Addie Ekstrom takes matters into her own hands as she pulls up and drains the pretty mid-range floater to help put her Saints up by 19. Down on the other end, and it's Tech's Liv Wongren battling her way down low as she gets the shooter's touch to bounce through. Carroll still leads in the third, 41-22. Butte's freshman guard, Chloe Santiford, Drives right down the lane, knocking down the left-handed layup as she keeps the Carroll College lead under 30. But it's senior leader Maddie Garrett's drilling the dagger to start the fourth quarter as Coach Sayers and her squad make it four straight in a dominating performance over the Ordiggers Saturday afternoon as they run away with it 61-34. to Now on to the fellas where they're coming off an emotional Kendall Moore buzzer beater victory over the Montana Western Bulldogs Thursday in the PE Center and it would be the senior Guy Pedra getting his Saints on the board first off the nicest assist from the seven-footer Zane Foster. And it's Pedra nearly losing it out of bounds before the ball ends up in Andrew Cook's hands as the junior standout guard Euro steps his way through the Ordigger defense to tie the game back up at 14 apiece midway through the first half. About five minutes left to play and Cookie again ties the game up at 26 each on the strong and one finish with Tech senior leader Asa Williams draped all over him. But Montana Tech's Hayden Deacons would go right down and answer drilling the open three. And Carroll's James Lang would take it personal, getting right to his spot and knocking down one of his own in a first half shootout. Montana Tech continuing to battle on the road as Asa Williams hits the wild layup over Moore late in the first half. The 5'11 junior Kendall Moore increases their lead to five with this big time three. Carroll would hold the eight-point lead heading into the break behind a trio of threes from the Dayton Sensation and 16 first-half points from Cook. The leader in the frontier came out firing in the second half. First, it's Deacons off the lob from senior Krishan Dixon. No relation to the Terps legend Juan Dixon. Then it's Dixon again with the sugary up and under to cut into Carroll's lead midway through the second half. However, Belich, Okiki, and the rest of the game were pull away late for the 11-point road victory. In the final minutes of this one, your Carroll College Fighting Saints will hit the road again next week before coming home to play MSU Northern on January 20th. From Helena, Hayes Bartra, MTN Sports.